but <laughs> uh, do you support Ron Paul? And <laughs> uh, what corporations do you think lead ethical practices that, if any? <laughs> I mean, Ron Paul's a nice guy. I <laughs> if I had to have dinner with one of the Republican candidates, I'd prefer to have it with him. But his policies are off the wall, you know. I mean, sometimes I agree with him, you know, like I think we ought to end the war in Afghanistan. But if you look at the other policies, I mean, it's kind of shocking. Uh, so, for, and, and the principles that lie behind them, you know, I, I don't know what to say about them. So let, uh, you probably saw or maybe read in the Republican debates at one point, and this kind of brought out who he is, yeah. he was asked, uh, he's against federal involvement in health, in anything. You know? right. He was asked uh, something like, uh, well, what about, what if some guy's in a coma and uh, uh, he's going to die and he never took out insurance, uh, what should happen? Well, his first answer was something like, uh, it's a tribute to our liberty. Okay, so if he dies, huh. that's a tribute to how free we are. Right. He kind of backed off from that. Actually, it was a huge applause when he said that. But after later reactions from elsewhere, he backed off. He said, well, uh, the church will take care of him, or charities will take care of him, or something or other, so it's not a problem. All right. I mean, this is just savagery. Yeah. And it goes across the board. In fact, this holds for the whole so-called libertarian ideology. I mean, you know, it may sound nice on the surface, but if you think it through, it's just a call for corporate tyranny takes away any barrier to uh, corporate tyranny. It's a, a step towards the worst. But, right. but, we, but it's all academic, because the business world would never permit it to happen, since it would destroy the economy. I mean, they can't live without a powerful nanny state. They know it. You know. Yeah, I like how you said uh, 